Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies and have ourselves some fun. Let's go. Good morning and welcome back, Movie Mom. Don't do that again to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I miss you, too. <laughs> we do have to talk a little bit about Sully, which was great. Tom Hanks is absolutely terrific. Even though we all know what happened, it's filmed in a very exciting way that keeps you on the edge of your seat. And it's about what happened after Sully Sullenberger landed the plane on the Hudson River and saved the lives of everybody because there'd never been anything like that. And so the uh, government investigators didn't really know what happened and had to ask a lot of very tough questions. And it was very traumatic for us. Sullenberger. So I thought it was really well done. Now this week, we've got another true story. It's Snowden from another great director, Oliver Stone, the king of paranoid cinema. Who better to tell this story? I'm 29 years old. I work as a private contractor for the NSA, for the CIA. I've worked in various jobs in the intelligence industry for the last nine years. Listen, they're going to come for me. And now that we've made contact, they're going to come for all of you too. The first thing you're going to do when you get home from this movie is you're going to go get a Band-Aid and put it over the little <laughs> lens in your laptop because this will scare you to death. Oliver Stone has never been known for subtlety and nuance. None of that happens in this movie. He's got a very strong point of view. Um, he's very much on the side of Snowden exposing the government program. So your reaction to the movie is going to depend on how you feel about that. Joseph Gordon-Levitt does a great job as Snowden. And you get to see the real Snowden at the end of the movie, too. Okay, Bridget Jones is baby. I gotta tell you, did not like it at all. I'm gonna over the whole Bridget Jones thing. Not that I was ever the hugest fan, but I enjoyed the first one. They should have just left it there because, what is it, like 12, 15 years later, stuff that is adorable when you're in your 20s is just kind of really when you're in your 30s. <laughs> and if you think it's hilarious that she sleeps with two guys and doesn't know which one is the father of her baby, then you'll probably think it's hilarious when they all go to Lamaze class. And isn't it funny that they think that the two guys are a gay couple? I mean, these jokes or like 1970s jokes. I did not care for it much. I mean, I'm always happy to sit and watch Patrick Dempsey and Colin Firth. And Emma Thompson totally steals the movie. But you shouldn't have to say that about a movie that's about Bridget Jones. Okay, you could stay home this weekend. We got Captain America Civil War, probably one of the best superhero movies that came out this year. That's out on DVD. And a movie that I told you to wait for DVD. That's out. Two, pop star, never stop, never stopping. Let me remind parents, definitely for adults only. Very, 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 very R-rated. Next week, The Magnificent Seven. I'm a huge fan of the original, so I'm hoping this one is good. I love Denzel Washington. I love Chris Pratt, so fingers crossed. Storks comes out next week, too. The animated film about Storks. I'm looking forward to Kate Winslet in Dressmaker. That one has been delayed for a long time, which is not usually a good sign, but I just love her so much, and I'm hoping it's good. Are you with us next week? I will try. I'm going to try to call in next week if I can from okay. the road. Good. I don't have to, like, you know, rock myself in a corner <laughs> next week. All right. <laughs> I need Movie Mom. I need Movie Mom. <laughs> Speaking of Movie Mom, you probably need Movie Mom, too. You can catch her on our website uh, where we always have a link to MovieMom.com, WJBQ.com. Movie Mom, have a fabulous weekend. Hopefully, we'll catch up with you next week. I hope so. Bye-bye. All right, bye. Let's all go to 